do you think you're doing? You scared me. I could have dropped this. Um, it's my lab. And you're in here removing things from it. Well, look, I just need to take this and then you can have your lab all to yourself. Pretend you never saw me. Brad, get out of my way. No, you're not taking anything out of here yet. And you're not ordering me around anymore. You or your royal boyfriend, okay? I'm sick of it. Oh, uh, really? I, I don't know how you could be sick of it. It's not like you actually follow the orders. You were supposed to keep watch while our scientist was in here. So? So, Nicholas told me you disappeared after he specifically asked you to keep watch. What was so important I had to stand watch here in the first place? And, uh, who was that woman Nicholas brought in here to work? It's none of your business. Why? Because it was Dr. Drake's dead wife? You know that's insane, right? Where did you get this crazy idea? From Sabrina's ex. What? Wait a minute, Sabrina has an ex? I mean, as in someone other than Patrick that wanted her? Yeah, some high looking guy named Carlos. He's the one who brought up Robin Scorpio Drake's name. Well, I mean, he sounds like an idiot to me. I mean, so, so you two just decided that a dead woman would be working in here rather than, I don't know, telling her husband and child that she's alive? She's supposed to be dead. How would I know what she'd do? The woman obviously has issues. Well, Brad, what did you tell Carlos? Relax. Okay, I didn't say a word to Carlos. I told him Ellie was the woman working in the lab, but we both know that's a lie, don't we? Hmm? You told me to get rid of her, give her the day off. And Nicholas shows up with this mysterious scientist lady who no one's supposed to see, so what's the deal? Is Scorpio Drake back from the dead or what? No! But even if she was, why do you care? Because of Felix. What does that annoying Twinkie have to do with anything? If you must know, we're dating. What? Kind of. Kind of. Look, Felix invited me to be his date for Sabrina's wedding. But if that dead woman turns out to be alive, it's gonna make for a pretty crappy wedding day for Sabrina. So? I know, I can't stand her either. But she's Felix's best friend. Again, I ask, so? So? Got a real shot with Felix, and... Wait, why would you even want a shot with Felix? I mean, even you can do better than that, Brad. And if this wedding is about to blow up in Sabrina's face, I could score some major points if I give him a heads up. So, you're gonna tell me if the woman working in here was Drake's dead wife or not? Is the Scorpio Drake woman alive, or isn't she? I don't know why you think I would even tell you that information. Because if you don't, I may be required to tell everyone I'm not the father of that baby of yours. What did you just say? Why so surprised, Britt? Hmm? No, I'm not saying anything you don't already know. I'm not the father of your baby. Look at his face. What do you see? That you're spending too much time in a tanning bed? I am Asian. That kid of yours looks nothing like me. And the older he gets, the more obvious that's gonna be why you name me as a father. I, I, I panicked, okay? Patrick was threatening to sue me for custody. I, I had no choice. I had to tell him he wasn't the father. And then he demanded to know who was. And claiming a randy, gay, Asian dude being your baby daddy seemed like a good idea? Yeah! Patrick already knew there was some sort of quid pro quo going on between you and me. I mean, he knew you had faked various test results and that I gave you the lab manager position. It made sense to him. And I figured you'd go along with it. I wish I didn't. I wish I'd just blown this whole thing wide open back then. Well, you didn't, okay? And it's a little too late now. We're both committed. Go on, no, 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 no. Think again. Okay, I can still tell. Or you can tell me the truth about Robin Scorpio Drake. Saying you're my baby's father doesn't cost you anything. Why are you using it as leverage to find out about Patrick's wife? Because Felix thinks I I'm this deadbeat dad and I need to change that. I thought everything was sunshine and unicorns between you and your girlfriend. I mean, didn't you just say that he asked you to be his date to go to Patrick and Sabrina's wedding? 
Yeah, he, he's starting to come around. But, okay. But the fact that I could care less about this baby you keep telling everyone is mine is a problem. All right, I, I need to redeem myself. So if Patrick's wife is still alive, tell me. So Felix's best friend won't be humiliated. No, you mean so you can go to the wedding and play hero. Dante and Lulu deserve to know that baby they were raising belonged to Maxie and that weird P.I. Okay, I had to prove I could do the right thing and that's what I'm trying to do now. Did it ever occur to you that maybe that's exactly what I'm trying to do too? That there are things that carry more weight than your desperate attempt to impress Felix. I can't talk about things, so shut up about Robin. I can't say anything about her. I think you just told me everything I want to know. So it's true. Patrick's wife is still alive. What are you doing here? I thought you were still on maternity leave. Yes, I, I am. I'm just here to... Uh, See, Brad, finally taking an interest in your son, Brad. Um, aren't you supposed to be getting married? Like, now? What are you doing? I'm looking, checking on something. What? Brad, can you look at that photo? This is my late wife. Brad, have you ever seen this woman in here? Uh, I didn't start working until after your wife died. No, I'm sorry, I mean recently. Was there a woman in the lab that looked like her in here maybe yesterday? Patrick, <laughs> what are you doing? What makes you think that Robin is alive? Because somebody swore that they saw her in here, okay? Patrick, if you want to call the wedding off, I'm sure Sabrina will understand. I mean, honestly, if she knew you were here looking for your dead wife, I mean, she would realize you're not ready and she'd probably call it off herself. Right, I shouldn't be having this conversation with you. All right, I, I understand you don't trust me and you have every right not to listen to me, but if you are still stuck on Robin, you should wait. You really should. You shouldn't come here. My fiance is waiting for me. And my wife is gone. Except... I'm not so sure she is. What are you doing here? Oh, I was invited. By whom? The uh, maid of honor. Felix invited you here to Sabrina and Patrick's wedding. I don't believe it. Oh, believe it. Since when is Felix even friendly with you? Miss a day, miss a lot. Bright side, please. Holy matrimony. <laughs> and now, by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you... Mommy? She was alive. She was still with us, and all I did was talk him out of it. Elizabeth, nobody could have seen this coming. Nobody. I did. Well, not see it exactly. I know. I, I don't really know what to do because somebody needs to go see what's happening with Sabrina. But I do. I don't want to leave. I'll go. How's it going in there? I was just, um, I can't make out much. Patrick's in with her now? To talk it out or let her down gently? I wish I knew. But my gut's telling me it's not good. I mean, you saw that kiss. Yeah, it was, uh, something, all right. Yeah, something that could shred Sabrina's heart. Look how many thick doors, I can't make anything out. Nothing? I mean, I heard the word rings and that's about it. Uh, let me try. If you hadn't noticed, I'm pretty good at this eavesdropping stuff. <clears throat> she 
Let's get you a shoe. No, I didn't. There you are. I need you, and I need you now. You have no idea how long I've waited for you to say that. Uh, get your mind out of the gutter. We have a real code blue down in pediatrics. That, that's terrible, but I, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a lab tech. You I don't be... need a doctor. I need an elf. I, is this a joke? Um, every year, Santa and his elf give presents to the kids down in pediatrics. Last year, Spinelli was Santa. This year, I was supposed to be his elf, but Spinelli canceled at the last minute, and now we're in a real jam. Sounds like you need a Santa, then. Oh, no, I'm Santa. I'm stepping in for Spinelli. You need to step up for me. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Please, Brad, will you be my elf? Uh, Put this on. It's my elf costume. Uh, you know, Fee, when I said I wanted to get into your pants, this wasn't what I had in mind. <laughs> no one wants to know what's going on in your mind. All right. What are you doing? The kids are expecting us in a few minutes. You really want to be late because you're too much of a prude to change in front of me? <laughs> There's no prudes here. We should, uh, get dressed. We don't want to disappoint the kids. Well? No. Of course, we don't. I didn't know it felt so good, the whole doing nice things for people. Well, well, well. Did Brad Cooper's heart grow three times in size? No, 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 don't even. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Felix. Hey, mind if we uh, have a few minutes with Brad? Uh, yeah, no. Problem, I gotta change my clothes and get back to my shift. Thanks again, Grinch. All right. So, what can I do for you both? You can tell us what you know about our missing embryos. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I gotta go if you get excuse me. No, you're not excused. Hey, hands off the merchandise. You know, the embryos we entrusted to your care here at GH. They're missing. We want them back. When Dante and I set out to get pregnant, three of my eggs were harvested and fertilized, and one of those embryos was implanted into Maxi. The other two, they were frozen and stored in your lab in case we needed to try again if something happened. Which we decided we'd like to do. We'd like to try it again. So we came to the lab to see Ellie to go over logistics, and she can't locate the embryos. Look, I'm, I'm sure they're still there. Ellie Trout is notoriously absent-minded. Well, we're not talking about papers being put in the wrong drawer, okay? Our embryos were logged in and then never logged out. They're not where they're supposed to be. Look, I can see why you'd be upset. Okay, but I can assure you that I'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, you will. That'd be great. And, and you know why? Because if, if our embryos have gone missing or disappeared or whatever's happened to them, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Hey, come on. We're all on the same team here, all right? Well, I'm trying to get your embryos back, but it seems to me that you're questioning the wrong guy. Who would we talk to if it's not you? If you want to know what happened, that's Dr. Westbourne. Why would we talk to Dr. Westbourne? She doesn't run the lab. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't she the doctor who initially handled the implantation? Yes, and we put a call into her to cover our bases, but we haven't heard back yet. You know what, it doesn't matter who our doctor is. Britt had access to the lab, but you're the one who's in charge of it. Maybe, maybe we should talk to your superiors whoa, and see whoa, if there's whoa, someone hey, who, who might be better suited no, for the no, job. No, no, no need for that, all right? Just let me look into it, okay? Yeah, you look into it, and you let us know. See what I can turn up. Yeah, hey. Look forward to hearing from you soon, okay? Yes, may I help you? Whoa, I certainly hope so. If this is how you always answer the door, I have got to make the trip out of here. Do you need something? Uh, diaper, apparently. Goodbye. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry if I seem distracted, but I, I need to... See Dr. Westbourne? No, she's not here. Don't bother coming around and conspiring with her. I know it all. Britt told me everything. She did? Yes, she did. And it's clear to me now why you never wanted to have anything to do with this child. 
Do not Ben's father. What exactly did Brick tell you? Everything. That you're not Ben's father. That she used an anonymous donor from the GH Sperm Bank. Enlisted you in a cover-up because she didn't go through the proper channels in getting the sample. Uh, therefore, couldn't handle the scrutiny. Well, I guess it's uh, all out in the open then, huh? Yes, it is. And since you <coughs> no longer have an official connection to Ben, it is with great pleasure that I announce to you that this entire island is private property. You're not wanted here. Turn around, leave, never come back. No one here wants to see you. Not ever. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, first off, congratulations on bagging that guy. What's your secret? Haha. Ha. Tonight's been a really trying night, so I don't have time. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that going around. I just had a run-in with Dante and Lulu Falconeri. What did they want? They know their embryos are missing. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Did you hear me? Dante and Lulu know their embryos are gone. Britt! How long before Dante and Lulu figure out that you have their son? You owe me big for playing elf, dear Santa. Like you didn't have a blast. Ah, oh, I did, but uh, still. Maybe I could uh, sit on your lap later. To give you my Christmas list, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Glad you had a good time. Yeah, well, it's about the uh, warm and fuzzies can last. Yeah, Dante and Lulu had something they wanted to ask you. What was that about? Dante and Lulu must be freaking. <laughs> Understatement. Do you have any idea where those embryos might be? How long before Dante and Lulu figure out that you have their son? Brad, you've got to figure this out. I'm not sure what I can do. L locate those seedlings. Okay, you said you had a good time with those kids down in Pete's. That it felt good to do something nice for someone else. Yeah, but I don't see how that... Keep does. the feeling going by solving the mystery of Dante and Lulu's lost embryos. It'd be great to help out Dante and Lulu, but I don't need... No excuses. You're in charge of that lab. I mean, granted, it's because you helped Britt try to entrap Patrick with a baby, but still, you've got to find those embryos. Otherwise, you're going to lose your job. Ah, uh, that's not even the worst part. You trying to tell me you care about something more than yourself? You should have seen him, Fee. Not the Lulu. Uh, they were so upset. Then fix it. Whatever it takes. You'll be glad you did. And so will I. Yeah, fucking Harry. Detective! Uh... Hi! Brad Cooper. From the lab? Brad! What did you find out? Do you know where our embryos are? Yes. I do. I made a huge mistake. Oh god. What are you saying? What did you do? I trusted Ellie Trout. I should have fired her as soon as I took over the lab. Now this is the documentation that we used to prove the destruction of certain lab materials. Destruction? As you can see, your embryos are on the list. Falconary embryos, quantity two. You can also see Ellie's signature on the bottom. She authorized it. I'm sorry, what are you saying? What do you think? That our, our embryos have been... Uh... Sorry. They've been destroyed. 